can you kind of squeeze your growth journey <laughs> into into one answer you know what was the secret sauce to your growth how did you get to where you are right now yeah for sure we could do a whole episode on this but the the kind of short version is that if you're looking for a silver bullet or a kind of secret trick that just made it happen then i'm gonna unfortunately disappoint you i, I guess it's <laughs> no one single thing or there's there's no real secret source but i think one thing that is a recurring theme is constantly critiquing and reinventing what you're doing how you've done it i think that supermetrics is the same company but we've been different companies during different stages of our growth i think the company i joined is is very different to what it looks like today it's it's almost unrecognizable in many ways even though a lot of things have have stayed the same and we've been able to scale our culture and um, the values that we hold dear to the company and, and the way that we've built the team i think those have been been constants but we've always looked at what are we doing in terms of go to market and what do we need to change so from a, looking at this from a very kind of commercial perspective so at first we were very product led it was very much about building a global base of of users getting people into the supermetrics ecosystem and and trying products and and upselling and automating a lot of complex workflows because we only had three people in our sales team when i joined the company and now we have 120 or so people in sales uh they vastly outnumber marketing whereas when i joined it was the other way around we had more in marketing than in sales which isn't too common in b2b SaaS. So over time, becoming more sales assisted and, and looking at how we can grow ACV. And um, now I would say in, in this sort of third stage, we're, we're very regionally driven. So at first it was global product led, then it became sales led or sales assisted in addition to, to the product led motion. And now we're really drilling down on specific regions and looking at the differences between our key geos. And we have local sales teams, we have regional marketing coming into the picture. So as a and a global demand team that's really changing the way we work and operate um and you know we've changed the way that we we sell we've brought new products we've experimented with pricing we've done a lot to rework and elevate our brand which i think is something we'll speak about later on we've looked at how we structure teams and and rip that up and changed it every so often when we've needed to so just sort of constantly questioning what you do and reinventing what you do is has been key and and i think really at the heart of everything has been listening to the customer i think constantly listening to what they say and taking feedback and probably the the challenges we face have been the times when we've overlooked that or you haven't listened to the customer so i think that's always the the kind of key learning so um yeah no one secret source but i think um I, I, that's probably the the reasons why we've been able to grow as we have hi this is saya from the growth heart podcast if you want to hear more you can listen to the full episode on your preferred podcast platform 